Hi guys, uh, part two of the backpack problems that a lot of people uh, struggle with. Because you all know that the the wiring's really thin, just a bit like, obviously this is the battery indicator, which I said I'd keep it in the system. So as you can see, we've fitted a new pump. Uh, it's a chemical pump uh, with new Jubilee clips as well. And there's a Jubilee clip on uh, the outlet coming from the backpack itself. On the Everflow pumps, they also have their own uh, fuse holder built into it itself as well. So as you can see now, we have some one mil thick cable now. And uh, these Wago connectors are absolutely fantastic. I think it's possibly one of the, the ways forward because it's reusable. So you can just lift the tab and uh, slide the conductor inside and then as you can see that silver trim there it's making the connection it's also got a little bit of waterproof in there as well so it keeps the moisture out and that's reusable so for argument's sake if this pump fails now all you need to do is just lift these tabs like so pull the cable out slide the new cable in and clamp it down so then we go connectors are really good uh, for in, interchangeable wiring connections, I think they're really good. Uh, to make this a little bit more uh, waterproof, you get these gel boxes, you can put them inside a gel box uh, if you wanted to go down that route. Uh, so they're pretty good. So then we've got the power coming from uh, our pump down into uh, the battery and stuff. As you can see, the cable's a lot thicker than what it was. I've also got an inland fuse holder because as you can come down here all we've got here now is obviously is the charging outlet which I've kept the same and I've just changed the switch to an on off switch we took away the fuse holder which was here which is, this is my new fuse now and the mini speed controller we just took it out completely so this just comes on full bar which I prefer really to tell the truth but we're all different that way as you can see the actual uh, charging outlet, I uh, soldered on the two terminals and I put some heat sink wrap around it just to protect it from moisture. Same as the switch here, uh, if you could just about see it, uh, what we did is I had some black heat sink wrap and I had some blue. So I soldered it onto the terminals of the switch and then I uh, heat sink wrapped it to give it a bit of our protection. And then I'm just going to pull the, the battery out, so just bear with. And what I did with the battery this time, I actually fitted new spade connectors. Now the female spade connectors have actually got heat sink wrap already on them. So I crimped them on and then I actually uh, heated it up with a soldering iron and uh, melted the heat sink wrap over the terminals. And uh, yeah, it's a hell of a lot thicker now. So just bear with me, just going to slide this in the battery so now what i have done now is because the cables are a little bit longer as well the only cables which is under the battery now is literally the battery terminals because i've put the the cable along these back edges here so it's all out of the way so nothing's getting trapped now nothing's getting trapped at all so that's my uptake of uh, making the backpack a little bit more robust with thicker cables and obviously the most important bit was uh, the fuse holder and obviously the pump has got its own fuse. So if anyone like any more information how I've wired this in, I can uh, also do a diagram for that. That's not a problem. And uh, hope this helps lads. Uh, speak soon. Thanks a lot.